Hello YouTube, this is Shirley426, and today we have the review of the Premium Bandai Exclusive, or P Bandai Exclusive, Gundam Converge Ghost Gundam Phantom Light Set. So, this is also one of those Gundam Converge core sets, which is usually uh, composed of a, a specific special mobile suit. Uh, now, as far as I can tell, uh, based on my memory, this is my actual first Premium Bandai Gundam Converge figure. Uh, there were a few like announced back then, but I was not able to get them at the time. But now this is actually my first one to actually get, and I think I have recently pre-ordered another premium Bandai set. So, yeah. All right. So the Ghost Gundam. Uh, as far as I know, I don't really know too much about this specific mold. As far as I know, it's actually based on the Phantom Gundam, uh, and then it was actually like modified slash repaired using the Crossbow Gundam X Zero parts. So yeah. Alright, so for those who have been pro paying attention to this promo set, not only you get this figure, but you get a lot of extra parts. So s let's see what we got. So as I mentioned before, the uh, the figure or the mobile suit itself is basically a combination between these two mobile suits. The C Crossbone Gundam X-Zero and then the the Phantom Gundam. So yeah, so I haven't, I have watched the manga, I have read the manga, but I haven't seen to read to the point where this specific Gundam actually shows up because uh, I don't know if it's been translated already, but still, I haven't really seen it in action in the manga yet. But yeah, it's pretty good to know. Uh, so I just want—I just brought up the X Zero for reference now. So let's see what we got. So first, we're gonna go over this side, and we can see there's a lot of parts going on here. Uh, just in case, here is the box. Here, uh, being a premium bond like uh, figure said, the box is not is in, is in one of these type of colors. And on the back, we can see two mobile suits: the Phantom Gundam and the Ghost Gundam. Alright, so let me just adjust the camera and see what we got. So here are the parts. Uh, so you, you actually get a whole body torso uh, and two extra weapons. So the, this I believe should be like the flame sword, I believe. That's what they actually call it, or the flame knife or blade. And then here we have something similar. I'm not sure if this is the exact same, because if I have reviewed the Crossbone Gundam X-Zero uh, HG, and then it does come with a, a blade that looks similar to the x the Crossbow Gundam X3's Murasame Blade slash Blaster, but it's actually a different design, so yeah. We do get this specific weapon, and then yeah, we get a whole body, and then the arms. So you can see one of the bi big differences that if you compare it to with the actual figure is that you get all these beautiful effect parts coming out. I believe this is what they call the Phantom Light uh, parts. Uh, because uh, according to the wiki, these mobile suits actually have a, a function called the Phantom Light, so yeah. Uh, and then here we have two more uh, big effect parts, which goes onto the backpack slash wings. And then here we have some extra parts. So number one, we get a extra hand that holds the blade of the, the flame uh, sword slash blade, but without the flame effect parts, as far as I can tell. Uh, and then we get these two parts, which are for the knees. Yes, you can actually separate the knees. And then we get two V-fin looking-ish parts. So these are pretty much also these phantom like effect parts. But this one is like a semi-like uh, effect. So I believe there's like, a, uh, how should I say, there's a more like uh, simple version. And then here we have the actual, now the new version going on here. It's the more specific, uh, the more radical looking design. Was, and this one is actually just painted on, while this one is actually a, a you know, one of those clear pieces type uh, plastic. So yeah, it's pretty good to have both. And then here we have the faceplate looking amazing. I love the head sculpt going on here. And then I do love the fact that the eyes are also in different colors. And I believe uh, according to one of those promo stuff I've read, there is something like about this is that behind the eyes, there's supposed to be another effect part. Or I, or I could be wrong about that. But still, I am really glad they uh, a, did a beautiful job with the faceplate. Because well, uh, back in then, like back in the past conversions, there you would always have like these issues of of the face molding or certain areas not looking right, but this one looks beautiful. No problem, as I can tell. And then here we have these two parts, and you get two because of the uh, extra parts for the uh, F Phantom Gundam, is that once you have the effect parts, they give you these to like basically withstand, uh, basically, it's not back heavy, but still they just wanted to make sure that the figure is like on, on the base, so not only on the uh, on the bottom, they also want to have something on the wing, so you don't, you know, I don't know, maybe lose balance. But this is very unnecessary because they don't really clip onto anything. So I'll show you guys later how this works. And also on the other side, we pretty much get the same parts for everything. 
even uh so yeah the only thing that you will be lacking would be the v fin part but that actually comes with the figure itself so i would like to mention that the phantom gundam is not included in the set of this you have to get this one separately it has also re released separately uh recently so you can you shouldn't have a big trouble getting this figure uh right now unless i don't know they ran out of stock very quick but as I mentioned, you pretty much get the same. You get the body. Of course, you're going to be lacking one hand because you're going to be using the one hand from the original figure. We get the wing part effect parts and then the face. Once again, did an excellent job with the face. Beautiful. Of course, this one has both yellow eyes. And we get the V fin going on here. Oops. And then the two knee parts. All right. So before we actually apply this figure, apply the effect parts, let's see what we got on the figure itself. So number one, I would like to mention that they did an excellent job doing with the metallic silver color going on this figure because I believe this is one of the recent ones that actually uses uh, metallic silver because back then I believe this was like the type of metallic silver they would use. Not that I'm saying that is bad, but uh, definitely they you can see the improvement going on with the the painting and color schemes and in all overall the technology making these figures. So yeah. And for those who are wondering, uh, can I just paint this in silver and make could just call it the Phantom Gun? Technically, yes, but of course, uh, just for like reference, here we go. So, uh, at the if you look at at the front, there shouldn't be too much of a big uh, difference as far as I can tell. Uh, but when you look at the back, there is one difference: is that uh, is the backpack design. You can see this one has a flat surface, while this one actually has something popping out here, and with these. Uh, I'm not sure what these are because I, I read the wiki and they don't really mention what these are. So maybe I'm just gonna assume that these are like extra like mines or grenades that you can just drop off at the bet when someone's chasing you. So yeah, only despite uh, with that. And then if you look at the back of the legs, also there is like some different designs going on here. So you can, technically you can color it. Yeah, you can do that, but there are going to be some slight differences. All right, so uh, once again, these converged figures are pretty much collectible figures. They don't actually have any uh, like amazing gimmicks or articulation, but they do come like you can pop off these arms and legs going on here. So uh, in this case, you can also pop off the main body. So which is pretty rare. You don't really see these too often these days. So yeah. So once we have that, so yeah, I'll be right back with the effect parts on on both figures. So yeah. Okay, I'm back, and here we have the both the Phantom Gundam and the Ghost Gundam with their effect parts on, and they look look absolutely beautiful. Now, this is pretty much the main reason why I bought this set is because when I first saw the promo pics, they look amazing. So here we have with everything on. You can see definitely, uh, as I mentioned before, you pretty much uh, take off the body and apply a new body, new arm, and uh, and pretty much a new faceplate going on here, and then the legs should be the, still the same. Uh, the only changes on the legs would be that you pop off the normal knee parts and then apply the ones that has the the flame effect parts. So here, as I mentioned, is the part where you use the stand. So what they tell you to do is pretty much it doesn't lock into place. You pretty much just lean it onto the effect parts, and there you go. Assuming that you have it have the figure on the the base platform on the correct position. So. Yeah, so by all means, this figure is not any. This figure is not back heavy, so I'm not really sure if this was really necessary. Of course, in the long run, who knows? It could become back heavy, but still, yeah, not clipping on or not really attach, really attaching onto the effect part itself. It's really not that great. So yeah. Uh, one thing I should mention is that uh, like applying the new, the other, you know, the alternative V fins going on here. So you have to actually take off the black piece entirely from. The, uh, from the original head and then apply the uh, the new V fin on so that's, that's one part and one thing I also saw was that when I first got this figure I just thought I could just uh, apply these effect parts to the wings directly but no you actually have these red tabs on the wings that you have to detach first and then apply the effect parts and just in case for those who don't know which one is left or right all these effect parts like the wings or the uh, how should I say, the knees actually have an indication which one is left, which one is right. There should be like a cap capital L or R going on there. And as you can see the effect parts, you can see the Phantom Gundam is actually, uh, the Ghost Gundam actually has a more dark purple, while the the other one actually has a more pink color going on here. So it's really, yeah, but if you want to swap the color pieces on, you could do that. Of course, you can't really do that with the knees because the knees are colored on, so yeah, you might need to do some modifications. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, these are one of those figures that you buy because you you want to have it or you like the effect parts. I, I'm not. I'm kind of a sucker for like the uh, these type of effect parts. So 
Yeah, that one, that was not happening because it was back heavy. I actually knocked it off, so that doesn't count. Anyway, so yeah, I really bought these for these effect parts, and I am satisfied that I got these. And yeah, so I will do a separate review on this figure, or maybe the uh, the set that I got this, because I did buy the entire set that I included this one, so yeah. And also, if you do want to see a video showing me the process of attaching these effect parts or alternative modes, like the Pale Rider, uh, going from the ground version to the, like, the space variant, do let me know. I will make a separate video if you want to see that. Anyways, thank you for for watching the review. This was the review of the Premium Mod Light Exclusive Gundam Converge Core Ghost Gundam Phantom Light set. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave a comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time.